Hi everybody, hi. Um, there's obviously a reason why I've got this shirt on. Nearly always, the uh, if the shirt's got anything written on it, then it's there for a reason. Uh, it's the letter Q today on the sing-along, alphabetical sing-along, sing-song, a really old song by Doris Day coming up, which has been adopted by football crowds up and down the country ever since. Uh, so I'm going to do the Doris Day version, but I thought I'd wear my Tranmere shirt, one of my Tranmere shirts, Tranmere Rovers being the local football team in Wirral, the only professional football club we have. And um, we had some, we have seen some great games there over the years. Um, sponsored uh, for many years by Wirral Council. And I've worked for Wirral Council 25 years this year. Mainly as a teacher, um, advisor, that sort of thing. Um, and Tranmere Rovers have been to Wembley for playoffs and different cup finals and things for about the last five years. And, um, of course, my original favourite team, and still, you know, in my heart of hearts, is uh, was... Chelsea and um, when I started supporting them it was because my brother Graham supported them he had all the posters and stuff in the early 70s which is when they were big uh, winning stuff and um, had the great iconic players Peter Osgood, Peter Bonetti, um, Ron Harris, Chopper Harris yeah not, not my favourite player um, and so on uh, Dave Webb and, and it goes on um, of course, Alan Hudson, who could forget him? Uh, and so on. And then, of course, as soon as I started supporting them in about 73, 74, I was about 8 or 10 or whatever, the, uh, the, the, the their fortunes declined. So uh, they basically built a massive East Stand, which they couldn't afford to pay for, so they had to sell all the players. And ever since, they were up and down uh, from Division 1, Division 2. In the early 80s, when I started going to matches regularly by myself, uh, they were right up the top of Division 2 and flying high in Division 1 sometimes which was before the Premier League existed and um, they had great players then as well like the one and only Pat Neving who I'll come back to uh, David Speedy and of course Kerry Dixon and um, they were great years to be following the club when we were kind of playing brilliantly exciting football up front and scoring lots of goals and but we were up and down so there's lots of passion lots of emotion and that was about the time that uh, there was a lot of pitch invasions a uh, little bit of trouble around the grounds and that which wasn't fun at all uh, and uh, Ken Bates the chairman at the time put up the uh, electric fence famously did that then he sold the club in the early 90s for a pound and uh, our fortunes were going rapidly wrong but uh, whoever bought it, and I can't remember who that was, um, redeveloped the ground. This is in the mid 90s, uh, early 90s, and we got Hoddle in to uh, play a coach, and he attracted some wonderful players. Hullet. Um, and when Hullet was there, you had Hoddle, then Hullet. And when you had Hullet, you got Zola and Viali. And then and Di Matteo, and then once we got that international cultural stuff going, and the ground was finished being developed, we were winning things again. This is in the late nineties. Uh, again, a wonderful time to be supporting them. Anyway, we're back at Wembley again for the FA Cup final, and uh, hopefully other finals to follow. So this is for all football fans around the world, and also anyone who likes old songs, which are absolute classics. <laughs> I can't remember the rhythm. When I was just a little girl, I asked my mother, what will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be rich? Here's what she said to me. Kay, Sarah, Sarah, whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Kay, Sarah, Sarah. What will be, will be When I grew up and fell in love I asked my sweetheart what lies ahead Will we have rainbows day after day? Here's what my sweetheart said Gay Sarah, Sarah Whatever will be, will be The future's not ours to see 
take a rock around What will be, will be Now I have children of my own They ask their father, what will they be? Will I be handsome? Will I be rich? I tell them tenderly Gay, so wrong, so wrong Whatever will be, will be A future's not ours to see Gay, so wrong, so wrong what, what will be, will be What will be, will be What will be, will be Gay, so wrong, so wrong Football verse Gay, so wrong, so wrong Whatever will be, will be We're going to Wembley Gay, so wrong, so wrong Hey, did I say it was the letter Q today? In the acoustic sing-along alphabetical sing-song Okay! Cheers everybody, up the blues, okay, bye now. <laughs> That's gonna wind a few people up. I'm only kidding. I haven't done much football stuff and it's just 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 it's just interesting, isn't it? Hey, life, football, life, music, songs, choruses, crowds, crowds, imagine crowds back at the game. You see old clips, not old clips, clips from fifteen months ago and you're like, what that? Look at that sea of faces all behind the goal. Unbelievable. I also go and see Hartford Town when I can, which is my hometown. Um, Non-league football. And I love going to Tranmere and Hartford Town because it, it feels more real, really. And you can't get tickets now anyway for the Premier League, uh, Champions League. You just can't, you know, it's impossible to get tickets. And if you do, they're like at least 50 quid, maybe more, probably more than that. And... Um, it's a lot of money if there's more than one of you. It's a lot of money if there's one of you, and you don't know what quality you're going to get anyway. Uh, and all the big games are the ones with the better quality, and they're the ones that you can't get a ticket for. So um, football is um, a funny old game. Or, <laughs> as Greavesy once said. OK, I'll see you all soon, everybody. OK, yeah, I, I, I.